Several roads in Edinburgh remain underwater from the overnight rains. In some places, drivers had to abandon their vehicles along the roadways. Our Angelo Vargas joins us now with the latest. Angelo. I'm probably in one of the driest areas on 17 and a half in Ruth Road here in the city of Edinburgh. You can see behind me the water. It's about two to three feet. That's according to police officials that we spoke to earlier today. Take a look at that abandoned vehicle right there, the black and, and silver chrome vehicle that's under abandoned underwater. And right next to that abandoned car is a daycare. There are about uh, four schools, including an IDEA school, two public uh, Edinburgh ISD schools, and that daycare right there. The daycare is completely underwater in the front of it. We spoke to the owner of that daycare off camera. He tells us this happens all the time every time it floods out here. But we do know that some of these schools are getting out early today. Let me explain it to you a little bit about what we know so far about who's getting out early and what's going to happen for parents to understand. So Sapat Elementary students will have early release for bus students only. So this is just for bus students at 1.30 today. And at Longoria Middle School, students will be released at 2.45. Now other students will be picked up at regular times. That is 3.15 for elementary and 3.50 for middle school students. Parent, uh, and we spoke to the Edinburgh uh, CISD police chief, Ricardo Perez. He tells us that they are working on a plan to mitigate, to alleviate all this water from out of here. They're actually working with the drainage district to alleviate all this water. But he tells us that they're working on getting the water out. But take a look at what he tells us about people trying to drive in this water. That we're in about two, three feet of water in this intersection. The, the low low level cars are, are getting stranded. That's where we have our Humvees to assist in in, uh, in evacuating some of these people that are stranded, not even in their on their cars, but also in their homes. So we're available to help uh, as much as we can. Well, this morning. Uh Longoria Middle School hosted a meeting with members of the Hidalgo County Drainage District 1 as well as IDEA school representatives and even DPS was out here going to assist and they're going to assist them and over 1,000 students were going to be impacted by this and they're actually telling parents to take caution when they come down here. They're going to have police officers directing traffic on either end of the school to get you to your student safely, to your child safely. So we'll be out here uh, reporting what happens. Uh, I know officials are not counting on any more rain. That's one thing that they're worried about. If it rains, they're worried about getting all this water out safely. Reporting in Edinburgh, Angelo Vargas, Channel 5 News at noon.